Hi, welcome to Sharma Adventures. Today we are doing a full flip through and review of the 108 days for a kindergartner in science. We are going through the table of contents right now where you can see how this book is broken up into different sections and different types of sciences as the year progresses. And as you enter, you will see the how to use this book as well as everything you need to start the year off right. Now, as you enter the book, you will see that every section is set up the same. There is a small insert to read and a couple of questions per page. In my experience with my daughter, she takes about just a couple of minutes per page. We sit down and we actually do an entire week in less than five minutes in one day. It's very simple depending how much your child can work or how much you want to work. My child prefer to do one subject a day throughout the course of the week. So for her, she did this in TK. So in TK, we would sit down every Monday, read about one, one week or sometimes two weeks if she really wanted to do more, answer the average two to four questions per page and be done for the entire week. This book offers a lot of different variety of ways to answer. Most of it is circling the correct answer or you can draw a picture or color a picture or match um, a picture to another picture. It's very simple, easy peasy. There's no prep or need to prep really. There's the answer key in the back of the book, so you can't go wrong. If you have a child who loves science or even is struggling with science, this book is really great for them. It's, it's really enjoyable and it doesn't take a whole lot of the day because this was so simple for my daughter, we actually used another science along with this book called Focus On, and it was for biology. And that is something we use as a family group subject where it's K through four. So this can be on its own a curriculum or you can use it as a supplement depending how much you and your child work at school. We tend to do a more rigorous curriculum where we do school every single day for a couple of hours a day. So doing that, you can really go through something like this. Um, we did finish the book in half of the school year because we joined our new school uh, during the half second semester. So during the around, I would say around Thanksgiving up into um, the end of the year, we easily finished this book. But if you do it, you know, every day of the year, there's 180 school days per uh, uh, academic school year. So this fulfills that requirement. And if you do one page a day, you will have plenty of science curriculum for your child to be successful in oncoming school year. Ch science is not meant to be hard, it's supposed to be fun. And I know when my son went to public school for kindergarten, they actually used science as um, almost like a supplemental subject. They used to rotate subjects. So they used to study um, language arts, math, reading, and I think another subject every single day of the, of the year that they were in school. But science, history, and art were on a rotation schedule that they used to only study science in kindergarten just three months of the year. So this is more than that and you can cover all those topics just in a longer period of time. So just remember this is kindergarten. It's not supposed to be as rigorous. It's supposed to be fun and intriguing and creating curiosity within your child so that they will be blossom and be more successful in the next academic school year. So I hope this flip through has been helpful to you and if you haven't already please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell if you like videos on motherhood, parenting, homeschooling and travel. We live in Southern California and we love traveling as part of our homeschool field trips and to create curiosity in our kids to explore other things they may not normally explore in homeschool. So if you like videos on like that and you want ideas, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope this flip through has been helpful in so many ways. If you're considering purchasing this book and you're not sure what is working or what won't work, this is definitely a curriculum that is for you. And I will see you in the next one. All right now, have a great school year. Bye-bye.